For foreigners only, please pay here one dollar, one person. Ticket counter. Alrighty, so one dollar or four thousand real. Right, guys. So this is the Wat Phnom historical site. Wow, look at that. So Wat Phnom is a Buddhist temple. It's got a total height of 46 meters. So I read, I read on Google that it's on a hill. So we're probably going to get a bit higher. So also Wat Phnom Temple is the most significant of all the temples in Phnom Penh. Well, let's go up. Oops, it's a bit tight. Oh guys, I'm not sure if I went up the right way. <laughs> I'm not sure that was the right way to get up here, but... Alright, so it is a pagoda. Alright, and this is the entrance. And as with all the temples in both Thailand and in Cambodia, you have to remove your shoes when entering this pagoda. advice coming with a tour guide so you can also get the history and the story behind what for long uh, there are all these paintings on the wall and I believe they all tell a story just heard now the uh, paintings on the walls uh, they are depicting the story of Buddha so you will find these paintings at all of the pagodas or most of the pagodas in Cambodia so where I've been to Siem Reap and I've been to now, now to Phnom Penh and I see these paintings so they are depicting the life of Buddha or the story of Buddha 
面对四面墙的状况，符号。I have now arrived at Wat Onalum Monastery. I think it might be an event taking place here as well. Uh, this tent is set up outside here, so I don't know what it is. This is the entrance, or well, this is the main building. I'm gonna try and give you some information in the description. I'm convinced that they're busy setting up for a some sort of event at the bottom in the tent. I see a lot of staff all over the place. So maybe they're just busy setting up. So many temples guys, so little time. It's my final day in Phnom Penh and I wanted to show you so much more. But try to squeeze in as much as I could. And uh, but you know what guys, also the weather is unforgiving. It's 36 degrees, it is hot, the sun is out, it is humid, and there's hardly any wind. So it's uh, it's tough. During the day, it's really tough walking out here in Phnom Penh. And, but you know what, guys? Uh, to find an escape, I find myself going into the 7-Elevens or supermarket every time. Because the uh, AC in there is next level. It's really great. And then also, guys, don't forget, these uh, uh, kiosk ATMs, the AC in there, even if it's just a single cubicle, the AC in there is, it's like stepping into a refrigerator or stepping into a freezer. 
it's really great so I, I find myself doing that very often just going in there cooling down and then going on to my on my way again so really great this park right outside opposite the royal palace and but it's there's hardly any shade so it's very it's gonna be very hot and unpleasant walking in there and uh, I'll check if there's enough to see in there is a complex of buildings which serves as the official royal residence of the king of Cambodia all right so that is the information according to Google and apparently it looks similar to the royal palace in Bangkok remember which is the one I couldn't show you because of the entrance and the complications of getting in there all right the entrance fee is ten dollars let's see um, guys if I'm not able to film inside then I'm not actually gonna go in and um, pay the ten dollars but let's just see Right into the sun. Apologies, guys. Let's see. This is better. All right. Still got the shadow. Let's see. Ticket booth. Number five. All right, such so these all the rules. Hi, in French as well. And in Khmer, English. All right, guys. So I've heard from quite a few people that there are many places you're not allowed to take video and photos. And uh, yeah, some people also were not allowed because they weren't dressed appropriately. Um, I don't think I have that problem. I have a shorts though and t-shirt, but I think for ladies they need to be they can't be exposed. Alright guys, so I think I'm gonna give this one a miss, but it's worth mentioning that it's one of the places that you wanna visit when you come to um Phnom Penh. In my case, yes, no thanks. No thank you. In my case, uh, I wanna film. And I want to capture the uh, what's happening on the inside but if I'm not allowed to film then there's no point of me going in there but I suppose if you want to go in for your own uh, you know just for knowledge and to see what's what it's all about then uh, I would advise you to do that I'm on the mission to film so it's not gonna be worth my while so it's time to get a cold one get the batteries charged get freshened up and get ready for the night because I want to have uh, another Cambodian dish this evening so uh, last night I had uh, egg fried rice I can't get it right last night I had egg fried rice with beef and the night before I had beef lock luck and I had noodles um what else did i have uh, but anyway so it's going to be another um, cambodian dish this evening but what i really need to get now is ice cold water or a ginger ale and even if i could just on my way home just stop in at a 7-eleven just to take in some of that ac <laughs> that would be great Get a nice cold ginger ale. Ooh, wow, guys, the AC in here is unbelievably great. It's like stepping into a freezer. Right, let me just see if I've got. Please, somebody have ginger ale. Please, 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 please. All right, I'm gonna search for it. I don't see any other shrimps here anyway. 
found it. There we go. Let's do that one. Mm. Let's go for that one. Right. Oh, what's the price? Two thousand two hundred. That's fifty cents. Oh, guys, it is live. All right, so my hotel's just up the up the road. So uh, it, it wasn't a long walk back from the uh, supermarket to my hotel. So when I get to my room, I'm gonna have an AC on full blast and just chill for a bit, and then I'm gonna come back to maybe this place. And have a massage. Jamie massage. Right, guys, I'm just going for a cheeseburger. I wanted to go for Cambodian this evening, but all the joints I've been to take cash only, and guess what? I've already changed all my cash, and um, so I had no more cash, and uh, so I opted to come to a place where I can pay by card. I don't know. 